Hi everyone, DC Wood here again. Um, question I must ask, how many of you went to Comic-Con in Manchester this year? I did, and I absolutely loved it. Um, as we know, Comic-Con is a phenomenon that happens all over the world, from America to Canada to India to Russia and to Britain. It was something I've always wanted to go see, always wanted to go see a com- uh, go to a Comic-Con event, and... I finally had my chance when I got tickets for my birthday this year and from start to finish this whole experience more than lived up to expectations. I went with my brother-in-law and cousin for Saturday 25th of July 2015. Uh, The whole event was running throughout that weekend Um, but to be honest I'm glad we only went for one day. Uh, That was enough for me. Uh, There was so much to see and explore people to so many people to meet uh, things to do items to purchase it was a it was a magical kingdom a true dreamland and for someone who had never been to a comic-con uh, until now my word it blew me away um Manchester Comic Con took place at uh, Manchester Central. Uh, we got there for nine o'clock, and obviously it was packed. There were thousands of people queuing up waiting to get in, and uh, we were thankful that we had uh, priority entry tickets because I don't think we'd have gotten in uh, since the afternoon. The queue for general entry was even longer, stretching back across the road into the adjacent streets, and it was worth paying the extra money for priority entry. It, it really was. Even though the doors were officially open for nine, um, we were queuing for over an hour uh, whilst the crowd control slowly filtered uh, people into the building. And truth be told, I didn't mind waiting in the crown to get in. I didn't mind queuing an hour uh, because it was such a beautiful day and all the people there were so fun, easygoing and like-minded. It was um, it was brilliant. Uh, spotting all the great costumes and chatting to people about travelling and what they were looking forward to w- was great fun. It was such an experience and uh, as soon as we arrived we came across a, a great trio of blokes dressed up as uh, Kill em Off, Bane and, and uh, The Arrow and I saw so many brilliant outfits, all the more brilliant outfits whilst uh, queuing and I took a, a lot of great photos but time did indeed fly by. Uh, when we finally got inside we were amazed by all the stores there selling comics graphic novels hats artwork toys uh, collectibles t-shirts dvds again this was the experience of someone who'd never been to a convention of this scale before anyone who's been to a comic-con before and they tell you that it's simply awesome believe them they're telling the truth and i came away with so many high quality purchases be the whole atmosphere of the events it's just mandatory it really really is i felt at home i simply felt at home it was just fantastic utterly fantastic and then of course there was the uh, the guest stars signing area which was the highlight of the whole event for me uh, i had a chance to meet Robert Llewellyn, a.k.a. Crichton from Red Dwarf, and he was just lovely to speak to. He was a true, true gentleman. We chatted about Red Dwarf, returning to Dave with Series 11 and uh, 12 in 2016 and 2017, respectively. Uh, He gave me a hug when I told him he'd made my day. He took a a photo of me, signed autographs, gave me a copy of his book, uh, The Man in the Rubber Mask, and he was just absolutely awesome, as were... um, all the other guests, um, as was Sophie Aldred, a.k.a. Ace, uh, the seventh Doctor's companion from uh, Doctor Who. She was so kind and lovely. Uh, I have a chance to tell her how much I loved Shockwave from Destiny of a Doctor and how much I thought her reading and performing in that story was perfect. Uh, she also told me of her new comedy drama podcast but starting soon, uh, Strangeness in Space, with uh, Trevor Simon, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, me and my cousin met Sylvester McCoy, uh, the Seventh Doctor, and uh, Radagast the Brown from The Hobbit. We had a, a great time chatting with him. I had a great time chatting with Colin Baker the sixth doctor he treated me like a a genuine human being and I loved talking with him and uh, Sylvester McCoy for that matter about their appearance in uh, Doctor Who The Light of the End Uh, I also loved discussing with them uh, other big finish uh, projects that they're going to be working on 
and I'll even have a chance to meet uh, Andrew Brooke, who was uh, the gunslinger from the Doctor Who Series 7 episode, A Town Called Mercy, which is one of my absolute favourite episodes. It was so enlightening talking with him about his experiences in costume, filming in that desert for the, for the episode, and talking about the psychological power and the sheer depth of the episode uh, of A Town Called Mercy. Andrew was fantastic and made such time for us. He, he was brilliant as well. And then I had to queue for over an hour to meet uh, Katrina Law, uh, famous for being Nissa Al Ghul from Arrow. I didn't care about waiting for over an hour. I really didn't. It was well worth the wait. And again, I saw so many costumes and enjoyed chatting with other people. It was great. And when it was finally my turn, Katrina treated me like I was a, a friend she hadn't seen in years. She wanted to know me. She asked how I was doing, where I'd come from, uh, what I did normally. Uh, she made me feel special, just like she did everyone else who queued um uh, ages to see her like every other celebrity she made me feel great on this day I, I wish i'd have had a chance to take a photo with her like i was able to do with everyone else but there was um a notice insisting no post photos due to the, the massive queue and the remaining time left in the signing session so it was fair enough and again the the experience with katrina was amazing and uh then there was carl yoon uh meiso yamashiro uh, who uh, another character in the tv series series arrow uh he was another olympic standard person to speak to when i told him that my trip to comic-con was a birthday present he enthusiastically said oh happy birthday man and wanted to know me he treated me like a like a brother it was it was so so wonderful and like katrina law i sadly didn't get the chance to have a photo with him but the autograph that he signed for me the, the way he talked to me um it was another amazing experience that i'll, I'll treasure forever he was really top-notch absolutely top notch the whole meet and greet was amazing these celebrities these exceptional people were doing this all day making me and everyone else who'd come to see them feel so special and important and it was a crowd of thousands who'd come from all over the world just to see them and my level of respect and, ad and admiration my love for these people had increased a, th a thousandfold i just want to say to Robert, Sophie, Sylvester, Colin, Andrew, Katrina and Carl, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. You all really made my day. You really, really did. And I know that everyone else who saw you felt exactly the same way. And of course, non-stop, from the day's beginning to the end, my word, all those people in costumes, the amount of time, effort, love and money that visitors had put into their outfits... It was incredible, it was extraordinary, and whenever I asked folk uh, to have pictures taken with them, everyone was so friendly and easygoing. Thank you to all those people who let me take photos of them. You were all awesome, and kudos to you for putting in such effort into your costumes. I loved it, I really, really loved it, and all of you should be proud. So many attractions, so many stalls, so many memories, and ultimately it was my idea of heaven there were great lunch stalls at manchester central as well bought a terrific cornish pasty i spent so much cash but i didn't care how often do you get to do something as worthwhile as this manchester comic-con like any other comic-con in the world surely was simply essential and all the staff and security and retailers who worked and managed everything this weekend thank you and well done one of the best times of my life my family and i we all had such an unforgettable day and now we've finally actually been to a comic-con oh we'll be back next year definitely um those who regularly go to comic cons you already know just how great these things are now i do and for those who've yet to attend one and want to just do it already five stars you, you're in for the, the day of your lives um for information on manchester comic-con uh, for more information of what happened on this day, please visit their website, www.mcmcomicon.com. 
dot uh, com forward slash Manchester. Information on where and when your nearest Comic Con, uh, wherever you may live, uh, wherever if you're looking for where your nearest Comic Con takes place, uh, where where and when it can be found, uh, then please visit the links below in this video's description. Be sure to check out Robert Llewellyn's book, The Man in the Rubber Mask, available now in all good bookshops and online retailers. And Strangeness in Space, starring Sophie Aldred and Trevor Simon, will be coming soon. Check out the website at strange, uh, strangenessinspace.com. Be back next year. Thanks as always, everyone. DC Woods signing out for now. See you again.